or its leader. All right, Oscar De La Hoya is promoting the Ortiz Mayweather fight, his Golden Boy uh, Productions, right in the middle of this deal. Uh, Oscar now joins us. I, I want to open Oscar with the 24/7 show, which is a great, you know, a great uh, promotional tool. When Mayweather and his father, in the last installment, are yelling and screaming profanities at each other, how much of that is show business, and how much of that is really? father and son hating on each other well I, I think it was real I think um, I think I mean for people who know um, um, you know Floyd Mayweather senior and Floyd Mayweather jr um, you know this has been going down for for many years now and um, you know I, I, I felt bad for Floyd senior because I know him personally um, you know he trained me for many years um, I, I got close to him and um, you know I, I like the guy um, you know, he always respected my family, respected myself, and was a hard worker. Um, you know, Floyd Jr., I mean, I kind of felt sorry for him. I, I felt bad because, you know, it's like, how, how does one do that to his father? You know, what, what, what is he dealing with inside, you know? It's like, why, what drove him to yell like that in front of millions of people over the TV? It's like, I don't know, you just have to feel sorry for him, and um, I just hope they can work it out one day, you know, because it is family. So you think even if there wasn't a television camera there, he would have, again, you have to see it to understand, and I'm with you, Oscar, when a father and son, uh, you know, promote ugliness, I mean, it, it was really bad. So you think it wasn't just a television camera that Floyd was playing for? No, it's just, it wasn't It wasn't a television camera. I think. I think... You know, all these emotions just, I guess, surfaced uh, because of the TV there. Um, but um, it was bound to happen. I, I just hope, you know, they, they, they can reconcile very soon because, like I said, family is family. Oscar De La Hoya with us on KMBR. Oscar has defeated 17 world champions, has won six world titles at six different weight classes. And, and I was just telling Gary before you came on, Oscars, I admire the fact that you didn't, you, you ducked nobody throughout your career and you fought basically all comers but I, I wanted to ask you because I saw you did this recent interview with with Univision and you talked about your alcoholism your battle with cocaine use your infidelities I mean I, really shocking stuff for me because I followed your career all the way through um, what, where maybe you could talk just briefly about where in the in your line of things you really bottomed out where you said you know what this is rock bottom for me well, I think, I think, um, I think, I mean, rock bottom for me was, was, was many years of, of, um, you know, the fact that I knew how to hide it, the fact that, um, I was just living a lie, um, basically, um, you know, um, I was just tired of it. I, I felt I had to do it. I felt that, um, just by unloading all that dead weight off my shoulders, I, I can just live a better life. And, um, you know, obviously I didn't have to come out with it. Um, I think now that I think about it, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. I, I feel great right now. I feel amazing. I feel like if I'm an open book and there's nothing to hide anymore. Yeah. Hey, one more on this and then we'll move on. It's just when people look at you, you've got all the fame, all the money. Why do you think you had to go that road? I think I think it starts off with uh, with your childhood. Um, you know, I mean, the, the, the lack of... of of, uh, of neglect, of the lack of, of not having, you know, the, the, the right love in, in, from your parents, uh, the, you know, the, the lack of, of uh, you know, the, uh, you know, all the, all the, you know, emotional abuse, the physical abuse, um, you know, it, it, it kind of, you know, it, it, w it was like enough is enough, you know, and, and, and you turn to the alcohol, you try to hide it with with all those bad vices, and, um, you know, it, it's just, my life was, was a big mess. All right, back to boxing and promoting the Floyd Mayweather fight. Do you think before he becomes a household name like, like you did, like Ray Leonard, uh, he has to beat somebody like a Pacquiao that the public is familiar with? Absolutely. I mean, you have to. It's, 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 uh, it's a must. I mean, you have to fight the best. You have to fight fighters that who are on their prime. Um, um, obviously, a Victor Ortiz is a fighter who is young, who's, who's strong, who's uh, you know it, it's his moment now. And um, you know this is going to be a real firm test for Floyd Mayweather Jr. It's, it's not a 
it's not going to be a tough fight for, for, for Victor Ortiz. It's going to be a tough fight for Floyd Jr. because this guy is only 24 years old. He's a southpaw. Um, um, he's hungry. He's fast. He's strong. He's young. Um, it's going to be quite a fight. Hey, Oscar, you know, I mentioned before you fought everybody, uh, uh, you know, Julio Cesar Chavez, Trinidad, Hopkins, I mean, you name it, uh, Mosley, Mayweather, Pacquiao, you fought them all. Who would you say, looking back at your incredible career, was the toughest fight or the toughest guy that you ever fought in the ring? I think now, now thinking about it and looking back at it, um, it has to be uh, uh, Bernard Hopkins. Um, you know, fighting him at 160 pounds in middleweight, um, I don't think I kind of knew what I got myself into. Um, it, it kind of like the first bell rang, and it was like, oh, shit, here, here we go. I, I'm sorry. Um, I, you know, it's like this I isn't HBO, Oscar, but you'll get away <laughs> with it. Go ahead. <laughs> um, um, but I kind of like felt that, like, whoa, what did I get myself into? You know, this guy's middleweight champion of the world. And now that I'm retired and still look at his career, he's still active, he's fighting these guys that are kind of almost 200 pounds, it's like, whoa, you know, I mean, yeah, he caught me with that body shot, but I was actually doing okay in the fight, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, you know, that, that has to be my toughest fight. Last one, why do you think so many younger fans are migrating to this MMA uh, over just the regular boxing? Well, I think because, I mean, first of all, uh, the MMA is, is, uh, is uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a sport that is, uh, is, is regulated, a sport that, you know, it's, it's, it's the UFC. I mean, MMA is, is the UFC, and, and, and so it's like a league, you know, and there's no confusion of who's the champion, and there's no five champions in every weight class, and so, you know, people are intrigued by that, and, um, you know, it's kind of like the NBA, it's kind of like baseball, it's like, okay, you want to watch baseball, you watch you watch the MLB. You want to watch, uh, 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 you know, you want to watch uh, uh, football. You go to the NFL. You don't go to other leagues or other. It's you know, boxing is just so confusing. Confusing, and we're not getting the fights that the fans want to watch. That's the problem because they're hard to make because there's so many promoters. There's so many titles. There's a lot of confusion going on. But I think I think um, I think we're uh, we're onto something here with Golden Boy Promotions. I think. I think, uh, look, we're a young company, uh, we're innovative, uh, we like to think outside the box. Um, you know, I think in the next five years, I think boxing will, uh, will once again reign as, uh, as the uh, combat sport. When, when does Pacquiao and Mayweather go? I mean, they have to, before they each get too old, and uh, I think if Pacquiao keeps singing, probably sooner <laughs> rather than later, huh? I, I think that fight will definitely happen next year. Um, mm -hmm. I, I have uh, I have all the confidence in the world that that obviously we know Floyd Mayweather wants to fight Pacquiao wants to fight um, I think it is going to happen uh, they're realizing that hey you know we got to stop these games we got to we got to just go up there and fight and I think uh, when it does happen people will uh, once again mm -hmm. uh, 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 you know want to watch boxing can, can I make you, you laugh like Oscar though I'm going to tell you when I got to make you laugh our producer Mike said Oscar kept him waiting ten minutes. Uh, where are you calling from, Oscar? Are you in New York or L.A.? No, I'm actually in Los Angeles. Good, because he'd like to come down and physically just manhandle you. Are, are you up? Can you still fight? <laughs> well, I, I can't fight anymore, yeah. but I, and I'm sure he will manhandle me. Yeah, but no, no, I don't Mike, do so. you want to come on the line and tell Oscar how upset you were? I wasn't upset at all. He's full of crap, Oscar. Okay, no, no, no. This, Oscar, this guy was all to, yeah, keep Oscar to three minutes. I, he kept us waiting. Oscar, you're, you're welcome anytime you want. And believe me, I could beat this guy up, so don't worry. Yeah. Hey, now, Oscar, on, on your way... I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, that's all right. On your way out the door, who do you like? You mentioned we were asking about Pacquiao Mayweather. When we see that fight, who do, who's going to win that fight? I think it's going to be a very, very good fight. I think, you know... The fact that Pacquiao is a fighter who is in your face, is going to push the fight, is going to be throwing combinations. I think Pacquiao is just a bit too reckless for a Mayweather Jr. I think Mayweather, Mayweather is a fighter who is, who, 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 who is scared to fight. But that makes him dangerous because he waits for you. He'll wait for you to make mistakes. He doesn't care how long he waits. He doesn't care that the people boo him. He doesn't care that people are watching a boring fight. He just wants to win. And so I think the fact that Pacquiao's going to be in his face and throwing reckless combinations, I think I think a Mayweather can kind of pick him apart. And, uh, you know, so I, I would have to go with Floyd Mayweather Jr. All right. Good luck, Oscar. I hope you can sleep at night. You're putting Don King out of business. <laughs> huh? I'll reach out to Don King and, uh, and uh, 
you know, wish him all the best. So. Yeah, right. You, you take 10 percent, he's getting 2 percent. That that won't even pay for his furs anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's done good for himself. So. All right. Yeah. I'll see you. And again, the guy's name is Mike Holler. Uh, if you if you're ever going to be on time for an interview, be on time next because he'll take one, but he won't take two. All right. <laughs> Look at that, Mike. Mike, why do you... You hung up on him, didn't you? What, what, if this guy is just... Mike, you're just drunk with power. The great Oscar yeah. De La Hoya, Mike said, goodbye. Yeah. yeah, Bill has one meeting where he says, oh, look at hang up on these guys. And yeah, he's that, playing clap. Hey, Mike, Mike, you suck on these sports players. <laughs>